These are the parties that are not the Socialist Party. Is that true? More importantly, we have determined the complement of the Socialist Parties. The definition is, consider the context. Consider the sample space, that context. The complement of an event or the complement of a list are those that are not in the list, but they're still in the sample space. Okay? It's like if I said to you, you know what? I have a friend named what? Bob. Bob is not a Republican. What does that mean about Bob? He could be anything but what? Republican. Don't say he's a Democrat because you don't know. He could be what? An independent, green, socialist, communist, peace of freedom, or libertarian. You see what I'm saying? That's the compliment. So some of these questions that I asked you really like number five. Number five. Give you an example. The standard deck problem. When I ask you, what's the probability of selecting a non what? What is that number five question? What is that? Non, non ace. The notation is I'm asking you for the complement of an ace. Okay, this is the same thing. This is the notation. Probability is selected non ace. Now, tell me, probability definition I left up here, this is going to be the number of non aces. You with me on that? The number of non aces over the total number in the deck. So, really, without giving you the definition of the complement, I already gave you an example. You already deduced the answer by looking at, oh, there were four what? Four are the aces. All the rest of the cards are the, are the non-aces. Is that true? How many non-aces were there? You guys already told me. There's what? 48. You see what I'm saying? So the 48 non-aces out of how many cards? 52. That's 48 over 52. We did that one. I think that was 13, uh, 12 over 13, right? So another example, what if I say select a card, still the standard deck? What's the probability a non standard deck? What's the probability it's a non club? A non club. How do you know that this is a complement? How do you know? Anybody have a clue, like, what, what's the tip-off that this is a compliment question? It says non. Do you see the word not, non? If you see the word not or non, it's a what? It's a compliment. It's like if I say to you, how many people here are not hungry? <laughs> what does that mean? How many people are not hungry? Are all the hungry people going to raise their hand? No. Who's going to raise their hand? The non-hungry people. So since nobody raised their hand, I guess that means you're all hungry, right? And you're going to have after class, what are you going to eat? Huh? A hamburger? You're going to eat a lot of stuff? What are you going to eat? Chicken. Okay. A non-club. Which cards in your deck are not clubs? Aren't the clubs here? Yes. Which ones are not clubs? The hearts, the diamonds, and the what? Spades. Is that true? How many of such cards are there? 13 plus 13 plus 13 is? 39. 39 over how many cards? 52. What does that turn out to be? Reduce this fraction, what do you get? 3 over what? 4. Do you guys know 
that three-fifths of the cards in a standard deck are none clubs as a decimal. That's 0.75. Or we can say 75% of the cards in a deck are what? Are non clubs. See how that non language works? You guys okay with this? Let me give you a definition now. Another one. Can I erase this here? We're, we're going to have to, um, yeah, okay. Sometimes I like leaving uh, the information up here because we're going to talk about some of the items we are at those answers. You know, it's really good to go back and forth, but um, we just, I'm telling you, math, I can, if I wanted, if they put white, whiteboards all around the room on the sides and the back, I would love that. You know why? Because I'd start on one end and write all the way to the other end and go to the other board to the other side and come all the way back. And then you'd have all the information all around you. Would that be good? Is that a good idea? No? OK. Definition of odds for an event. Hey, how many people like going to Vegas? Anybody like going to Vegas? Why do you go going to Vegas? You like gambling? What do you, when was the last time you went to Vegas? A year ago. Ever notice on some of the I guess the, what do you call them, the van, I don't know, what, some of the machines or some of the, the games, right? Did you ever notice a sort of um, language of odds? No? They didn't sit there and say the odds of winning something? Anybody ever noticed that in Vegas? No one's ever noticed? You guys know. Am I the only one that looks around this world and sees things? Last time I was in Vegas was a long time ago. Last time I was in Vegas, a long time ago, I was walking around you know, because I really don't gamble. I was looking at everything, and I noticed, oh, odds for winning. And they gave you some, or they give you the odds, really, for particular games. Do they still do that? Maybe they don't do it anymore. They still do it? Take a look around the next time you, or you guys just go, and you just give them all your money. You don't even think. You just go, here's my money. No? Take a look around. You might see, I remember seeing um, machines, and they gave me odds. Okay, in fact, if you look at the sports page, read the sports page, you're going to see language about odds. Now, odds and probability are two slightly different things, but they're related. You get the same information from odds. So I'm going to give definitions of odds, odds for and odds against, and see how it relates to probability. But it's the same kind of, same kind of knowledge that communicates to you certain information. Here's what it is. The definition of odds for an event. Odds for an event E. Here's your definition. This is another definition you guys want to know and have down. Okay? It is another ratio. It is a ratio of N of E to semicolon N of E complement. It's the complement of E. This is odds for an event. Now, what this means to you, really, aside from the technical definition, what this means, if like, is it, when you read, it's the number of outcomes. E two. This is a semicolon two. The number of outcomes. For the complement. And how it's thought of in a gaming sense is the number of in gambling of success to number of what? Failures. 